Hello YouTube, Jibo Unit here again, and I'm going to do a breakdown of the Ruger Mark III standard uh, 22 long rifle pistol. So, um, in my previous video, I introduced the 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 pistol, and now I'm going to go ahead and do a breakdown of it. So, those of you who are uh, owners of these types of pistols will know that. Um, out of the box brand new these guns are very tight and they're very difficult to manipulate uh, you'll see videos on here now where people are just they're they're taking the the gun apart with their hands and putting them back together by hand and man I'm telling you those are guns that have been through the ringer so to speak um, uh, they've gone through a lot of assembly and disassembly to where the tolerances aren't so tight and you know the guns loosened up a bit uh, kind of broken in like a good old glove right so um, this one's brand new and I'm telling you I had a difficult time getting this thing apart getting it back together um, I've kind of gotten it sort of loose um, enough to be able to break it down and show you you know what you can do if you have a brand new one uh, how you can deal with breaking it down and putting it back together so anyway let me go ahead and switch the camera angle okay so, here we are, Ruger Mark III Standard, all right? Now, the tools that I needed to, to have this thing taken apart to show you are, I've got a rubber mallet, and I do stress rubber. Okay, don't use a metal hammer for crying out loud. I've got a paper clip that is fashioned with a loop on the end, like that, real skinny one. A wooden dowel, flashlight just to see better and uh, that's it and plus I wanted to show you this this is that internal safety interlock key I was telling you about so let me show that first let me move this out of the way okay so alright here we go with the Ruger right here now right here is the safety okay now that hole right below it that's where this goes in okay so basically you have your gun Okay. All right. So now, uh, in theory, there is a loaded round in here. But of course, since there are that, that telltale, um, oops, sorry, on this side, the telltale um, indicator here does not pop out. So there is no round loaded. But just for the for the show and tell, um, I'm going to go ahead and take this. Now, right now, it is in the fire position. So I'm going to go ahead and move it up. It's safety. Okay. Trigger cannot be pulled. Now to further, now it's safe now, but to further lock it, take your little key here, insert it. Oh, I guess that's not a very good show. Okay. Going to insert it right here. And it does say to crank away just like a wind-up toy slightly tighten it okay what does that do that prevents you from taking the safety off still not still not firing okay and I cannot move the safety off okay now now if we go ahead and take it apart so right back in here again okay Go ahead and loosen it. Okay. Now look what happens to the safety. Okay. See the knob is up. Now I'm going to push it down. See that? Now the safety can be manipulated. Okay. And of course, there we go. See? Now with the safety off, of course, I can fire it. Okay. So that's that's how this works. Okay. Now. I'm going to go ahead and do a breakdown of this uh, weapon. So, like I said, it's very stiff. So, I'll go ahead and do a regular breakdown and show you what I had to do. All right. Okay, we want to make sure the, the gun is empty. So, I'm going to pull the slide. No rounds in the chamber. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and verify. Okay. Not there. Okay, 
So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in. Okay, now it's ready to be disassembled. Okay, so first thing I got to do is take my handy dandy paper clip tool here, and on the back here, you will see this. That is a lever that I have to pull out like a pocket knife. It'll come out just like so. Okay, let's see if I can do it this way. Okay, so I mean, because if you use your fingernail, I mean, over time, I guess you can do it. But if you use your fingernail, unless you have got really strong fingernails, you are going to peel your fingernails backwards because this thing is very stiff. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can stick that in there like so. Okay. Okay, got it caught right there. Okay, did you see that? Pulls out like a pocket knife, right? Comes out. Now this is connected to a pin right there. Now in other videos you can see people going, oh yeah, you just take this apart and pop it right out. I cannot pop it right out, okay? It's very stiff. <clears throat> Dang, gum it. Okay, so the solution to that is take this dowel, put it right on top of there, and just whack on it with the rubber mallet. Now, when I do this, the table is going to shake, so bear with me. And also, when you do this, see how this is right here? Make sure it's not down here because you're, you're just going to be pounding it against the frame of the pistol, and it's not going to move at all. So you basically have to hold it like so, all right? Okay, remember, the gun is empty. All right, so I'm going to hold it like this. Put the dowel right on top of that pin, like so. And if I can do this without popping my own fingers off. Okay, so I already got it started. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep going. Just tap it out. Just one sharp rap will get it started. And then you just kind of... Ow, pound it right out of there. Okay. So, okay, I've got it. Like so. See how see how this thing is coming down? See that pin? Just like that. Pulls right out. Okay. So there's there's one part right there. I'm gonna pop the magazine out. Okay, that's the next part. Okay, now next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put your thumb on the back of the of the slide here so nothing falls apart. You're going to point it up, pull the trigger, and pull the, the bolt right on out of the slide. Okay. Now you can take this apart, you know, take this the spring off, and there's a retaining pin right there, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it as is. Okay. And oh, I'm sorry. And the last part is to take this slide right off so it doesn't come off traditionally it's you're supposed to be able to just pull it forward and pull it right off but you know being that this is a new gun can't do that so hang on to it like so get your rubber mallet and you're gonna smack the upper end of this right here so essentially you're gonna hit this part right here sharply forward like that okay and when that happens it moves its forward so that you can pull it off just like that. Okay? There you have it. That's the breakdown of the Ruger Mark III standard. Uh, the next video I do will be to assemble it. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Hope that was helpful. And uh, I will go see you in the next video. All right. Take care.